Hello, everybody. It's Lee McCain and here. It's Beth McCain. And we're here on the Beth and Lee McCain radio show on YouTube, where all we do is talk about the, the wonder- law of attraction. The wonderful law of attraction. The wonderful law of attraction. It's pretty wonderful, huh? It is. So we've had a great week. We have had a good It's week. a milestone week. Yes, it is. This is show number 26, which it means sure it's is. the last show of the season. That's right. Next week starts season two of the Beth and Lee McCain radio show. Number 27. Number 27. And we also will be ha- having that special... Uh, uh, pilot episode of, of the, the big half hour show. Yeah, so, that's going to be exciting. A lot of good stuff coming up next week. Yep. We have a little bit of housekeeping we have to do. Yep, we do. We got an email from our friends over at Chunky Dunk who uh-huh. handle all of the sales of our materials on eBay. And um, one of you have, have gone missing. And so, <laughs> so we're putting out a, an APB. Go ahead, tell them, well, tell them what's it's, up. Um, it's Rachel, you ordered a couple of our courses and we can't get a hold of you. We don't know where to yeah, send them. Yeah, our, our, um, our peeps don't know how to get a hold of you. <laughs> so, so if you would email us, shoot us an email address and all that, we'll, we'll get you all set up. But but gosh, you know, we, we have your stuff here ready to go, but, but nowhere for it to go to. Yeah, all the emails are bouncing back. So if you could. We'd like to hear from you this yeah. week. Okay. okay. Are you ready for questions? Sure. Okay. This one is yours, and it's from Gail in Illinois. Well, hello, Gail. Hi, Gail. I don't understand that when I focus on what I do want, it comes to me, and when I focus on what I don't want, it comes to me. How does this work? Lee, would you like to take that? Well, basically, Gail, it's just about what you're focusing on. And you know what? This is pure law of attraction. You're actually attracting what you're focusing on. So if you're focusing on what you want, you get what you want. You know, th- this, this question has turned out to be like a poster child question for the law of attraction. It's true. Um, finishing that thought, when you focus on what you don't want, you're going to get what you don't want. So if you are repeatedly thinking of the same kind of worry, doubt, feelings, and thinking, and thoughts, and on and on and on, those are going to create don't wants. But if you focus on the things that you do want... Exactly, and you, you've got those feelings there, and the thoughts there, then you're going to get what you you know, every now and then a, a little question jumps out of nowhere that is just so perfect. And this is one of them. Yeah. Because for anybody who's maybe just started seeking the law of attraction or just started listening to us, uh, you'll know that we say over and over again, you know, the universe responds to what you emit. And if, like Gail here, you're emitting good things, good things come. If you emit uh, not so good things, those come too. Yeah. So, uh, and, you know, it's funny because we get that question a lot. And in a, in a lot know, of, in a lot in of, different, a lot of ways. different ways, yeah. like one of them, we had it come like, um, how come it's so easy for me to manifest the things I don't want? And on the other hand, it's, it's so hard to manifest the things that I do want. So the little and, fix would be is you focus on what you do want. <laughs> exactly, and, exactly. And there you go. Yeah. So Gail, thank you for that question. It's just as easy to manifest the do wants. It really is. And I hope you're not freezing too much there in Illinois. Yeah, it's, that's it's true. been quite it's cold. a quite a week there in the old Midwest, it has. hasn't it? It has. All right. Well, I have a question for you, my dear. Okay. And this question comes from Adam in North Carolina. Hi, Adam. And Adam writes. Do you have any ideas on manifesting my desires quicker? You know what? In a way, it's almost a piggyback question onto Gail's, isn't it? It is. It is kind of. Well, here you go, Adam. Here's the expert. Okay. Well, we have a lot of different ideas on how to manifest your desires quicker. But we're going to give you a tip today. So here's one that we love to use. It can be a little tricky. And we usually teach this in our advanced classes in, gosh, in bigger form. But I'll try to do this in a nutshell. Think of something that makes you feel so good that you want to shout from the rooftops. Anything in your life or in the past. Don't worry that it has nothing to do with your desires. Just find that feeling. Okay, now get into that feeling and multiply it and get so excited that you can't sit still any longer. You have to get up and jump. Now, (laughs) before this process, you should write down exactly what you desire. Pull out the written desire and use the feeling from your best feeling moment and announce your desire. And what you're doing is you're transferring the feelings from your desire 
even if it isn't from the same desire, you're transferring the feelings of that wonderful, of wonderful feeling thing. thought. Sure. And then, you know, there's more to the process, but that's it in a nutshell. You know what? That That's a fun exercise. It too. is. It's a lot of fun. It really is. It. Uh, you've heard us say a lot of times that sometimes what Beth and I have done, if, if we, we have developed and we've created... Um, techniques to use mm -hmm. or maybe we've taken a, a, a technique that's kind of like that and then ha have to have uh, tweaked it a little bit mm -hmm. this is one of those techniques so we can tell you 100% that this does work it really does yeah, so because some people have a hard time finding the feelings or believing what it is that they're desiring you know and so by transferring those and putting them into that particular vision it really does work. Yeah. Go find that good feeling. Mm -hmm. and, and when you're, you know, at your maximum uh, on that feeling, whip out that piece of paper where you've written it down. And, and shout it from the rooftops. There you go. There you <laughs> okay. Go. Hey, you know, uh, before we go this week. Uh, you're not going to ask me to sing, right? <laughs> the joke. Would you, would, you, would you sing? I no, joke. actually, um, I'm going to do some singing. You are? Yeah. Happy birthday oh. to you. All right. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Well, you know. Happy birthday, dear Beth, who's only 29. Yeah, right. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Uh, Come here, honey. I love you so love much. Love you, too. Happy birthday. Thank you. Here's your birthday present. What is it? you got to open it. Now? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Ah, you like Starbucks. It? <laughs> <laughs> some some Starbucks bucks. I didn't know they made them this big. No, isn't that neat? It is. It's great. Thank so you. So you can you can go get all hopped up on some of that Java <laughs> over Thanks, there. Thanks, babe. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then a uh, last little note before we go here, folks. Um, we've got seven seats left, I think, as of this morning in class. Yeah, yeah, it's really filling up. So if you want to get into that um, into the uh, boot, boot camp. camp uh, you know, even if you see the numbers going down, yeah, we have talked about that if we have to, we can squeeze a few more people. Well, in. or maybe start a second class, yeah, but so, but this um, first class is definitely filling up. So if you want and to, if, and if there's any finance issue and it has to wait, just call and reserve it. Let us yeah, know. You no know, problem at all. We, Not the, a the main thing is we want to see you succeed, and we want to get you in that class. We're really so. excited about it. Yeah, it's, it's going to be good. Really good. It's too. really going to be good. All right, so. Law of Attraction Boot Camp, guys. Come on. Okay, and until next week, uh, adios. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.